Good afternoon. I'm Molly Cat Tannehill. And I'm Connor Sweeney, and this is Oxford Outlook. Students. Today we have a lot of good stories getting a close look at Oxford School District's Teacher of the Year in the snow here in Oxford. Stay tuned after the break to check out these stories. social studies teacher Mr. Curtis Minton was awarded the highest award that can be received as a teacher here in the district. Some of our reporters took an inside look at what receiving this award looks like for him. Let's take a look. I'm here at Oxford Middle School where I'm about to talk to Kurt Minton, the 2020 Oxford School District Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Kurt Minton. I teach eighth grade Mississippi Studies and World Geography at Oxford Middle School. I have been teaching now for 16 and a half, almost 17 years. I started in the year 2004, where the Central Elementary School is now, but it was the old building that was there before the new school was built. I actually come from a line of teachers. I have my, my mom was a teacher for 30 two years, had an aunt that retired after 38 years of teaching. I have a cousin that's a teacher. Uh, my mother-in-law was a teacher and my wife was a teacher for a period of time as well. So it just seemed like a natural fit for me because I wanted a job where I could make a difference and teaching certainly has been an opportunity to do that. This has been one of the most interesting years uh, teaching because of COVID. The, the good things for me here have been that we work really well together as a group, uh, particularly the social studies teachers. We always have each other's backs. We work together to plan things. So the workload hasn't increased, but certainly getting used to uh, teaching online or, or finding ways to reach students who are not in the classroom um, has been a learning curve. But I think we've done a pretty good job of reaching out and connecting with our students uh, when they're not inside the classroom due to COVID. But it has been a, a different year for sure. Uh, receiving this award was incredibly humbling uh, to know that so many great educators thought highly enough of me to, to choose me for this award. So um, it, it was a great opportunity for me to reflect on things that I've done throughout my career uh, and see that uh, hopefully I am making a difference in the lives of my students and the, the lives of the teachers around me. Uh, I was shocked. I could not believe it. Um, it was shocking enough to win the Oxford Middle School Teacher of the Year and then to find out that I'd won for the entire district was was incredibly surprising. Um, I hope that my impact has been to show them that teachers care about them as people. Uh, certainly we care that students receive an education, but we as teachers care about what's going on in your life now, but also what's going to go on in your future. And, and I hope that at some point in my career I have made an impact for the long term for my students. Um, I am from Oxford. I'm a, a lifelong Oxford resident, and so it's been nice to give back to the community that gave so much to me um, as a kid growing up. And so being here with the uh, opportunities that we have, um, with the population uh, of the city that supports us so much, and then having the opportunity to work uh, using resources with the university, having guests come in or, or student teachers, um, the the impact that we can make here in our community is is huge uh, and it's just been a really great part of my career to be involved in that. Earlier this February, Oxford's weather took a turn, dropping as low as one degree. This snow gave us students a week off of school and icy roads like we had never experienced before. Let's check it out after the break. Welcome 
back. Off to that looks Billy and Margaret Rowland sat down with a few students to get the story of the snow. Take a look. Early this year, states around the South were rocked by a winter storm that forced many cities to become shut down. As roads iced over, citizens had no choice but to stay home and adapt. We took a closer look at how the Oxford Police Department handled this icy week. Uh, my name is Breck Jones. I'm the public information officer here at the Oxford Police Department. Obviously, it was a little tough with the snow and the ice and everything, but we kind of limited our personnel down to essential personnel where we just had dispatchers and our officers out on the streets. And um, so what we did a lot of times during the week was we were checking road conditions. We were going through and helping people that would try to get out and they'd get stuck. So we had a lot of motorist assists. And that was kind of the main thing we worked on during the week, but uh, we just wanted to try to keep the public informed. The biggest challenge was probably um, trying to encourage the public to stay at home. Uh, a lot of people would get bored or cooped up in the house and they'd try to get out and drive and then they'd end up getting stuck and you know we were trying to do that and on top of getting our staff and everybody here from their homes and wherever they live and uh, I think the toughest part was just being able to navigate the roads. Yeah, Our social media presence is something that we really tried to update especially Twitter and Facebook during the, the storm as people are looking to us to see what's going on out there whenever they're stuck. So one of the things is just make sure that we keep the public informed and <clears throat> everybody knows ahead of time where grocery stores aren't struggling to restock and things like that. Since schools were shut down, students here at OHS switched to virtual learning. We talked to some students about their snow week experience. Um, I enjoyed mine. I uh, hung out with my friends and played Xbox. Mine was very interesting. I hung out with my friends and family. You made a lot of snowmen. It was fun. I had a lot of fun having the whole break, and I had a lot of fun in the snow. Okay. I think they handled it very well. I didn't do any of my schoolwork or get on any of my Zooms, but I think they handled it very well. It was good. I had a Zoom for most of my class, and you had to turn in your work before Sunday, so it was really easy. I think it's good that the school has virtual school and snow days, and I'm glad that we don't have to make the days up at the end of the year. But I feel bad for the little kids because when we were their age, on snow days we'd miss the whole day or week and not have to worry about school and just have fun. The roads were really bad, but I mean, I couldn't leave my house for a whole week, but I'm just glad that everybody stayed safe. Snow in Mississippi is rare, and we're glad that everyone had fun and stayed safe. Our thanks goes out to the city officials who worked tirelessly to keep us safe. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Oxford Outlook. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Molly Cat Tannehill. And I'm Connor Sweeney, and we'll see you next week.